Jared, Trigon's little bastard in charge of Wrath, has his All right. Hello. Welcome to the special live stream webcast bringing you celestial powers from DLC 8, The Sons of Trigon. My name is Spittle. I am the creative director on DC Universe Online. You can follow me on Twitter at Spittle. Reach me on the forums at Spittle, or just Spittle in that case. And this is Spore, Jesse Scott, one of our systems designers who is responsible for being point on a lot of our power development here. And what a great job you do. Everybody loves Thank Quantum. You. And they're anxious to see what your follow-up is. <laughs> what have you done? What have um, you created here? So now we have Celestial Powers. Yes! The new healing set. Awesome. Um, and it uh, it is, is different. It's very than, cool. Than, than pretty much everything else. Uh, and it has a st kind of a steep learning curve. Does it? It does. But right. once you figure Skill it out, based, it's right? a plateau. right? So once you understand how it works, you, you, can, you can get it. It's not like light where you have to continue to figure out well you're going to run everybody through it so that it's super simple for them to understand and at least get a handle on yeah. what it's going to be and what they're going to have to do to master it so let's get started with that um first thing i wanted to do really quick actually let's back out to character create um really quick here yeah and we will make a new character oh. and show the inspired buys for celestial so you can get an idea of what that looks like. So, um, where is Meps? People want to know. Meps. He's in the Meps cave. No, I. I right. No, yes, maybe, but the Meps phone is. Oh, is the Meps phone's on the is fritz. It's on the fritz, so I don't know. Meps might be in like chat here. Meps, speak up if you're in chat. Let the people know you're alive. Last we saw you, you were diseased, and I'm sure that they're concerned that you're dead. No, he might have actually expired. There he is. I'm alive. Confirmation here, folks. Meps in the Meps cave, but the Meps phone is malfunctioning. All right, so let's go to create. Yes, let's go to create, and let's show the peoples what we're going to show them. Let's get to this movie. That movie. Do we want male or female? Doesn't here? matter. Let's do female, so okay. I have a male celestial character already. All right. All right, so we'll do Inspired By. And what we did here was we picked a couple of, with the whole cursed and blessed thing, and the fact that this is kind of representing sort of divine powers, we went with a few really cool characters for Inspired By. You want to show the people what we who we added? Down here we have Eclipso. Nice. And the Spectre. Nice. Okay, so two, uh, two uh, hands of God, so to speak. Uh, we have the Spirit of Vengeance uh, and the Spectre. And, of course, we have Eclipso, who is the former Spirit of Vengeance. And these guys were, are epically powerful. They kind of represent two, two sides of the same coin, so to speak. And uh, so we thought they were, they were perfect for Celestial. Certainly. And so here you see that's a lot of our driving factor in terms of the colors of the effects and what they look like in terms of their connection to the presence in DC, which is basically right. DC's version of God. Right. right. Um, so cool. I just wanted people to see that. Let's go ahead and uh, switch back over to the character that you actually have created so we can actually demo these things. What's been your favorite part of working on this power and trying to bring like a new element to healing into DC Universe Online? Um, I think... My favorite part was definitely the the new tech we got, which allows us to um, take damage dealt and turn it into healing. Yeah, that's definitely that's um, cool, really cool. Although, because that's very powerful, we also have to put a leash on it, you know, because okay. it could probably get out of control. Okay, but they gave us plenty of knobs. So you pre-nerfed it. They gave us plenty of <laughs> plenty of knobs to turn. Okay. Yeah. All well, right. somebody already was saying in chat to nerf it. Really so already? Took care they of it. They always say that. Took care of it. And when you already. do, the other people come out of the woodwork too. So I don't know. Yeah, they're at true. war with themselves. It must be horrible being the the community as a whole. You're just so <laughs> so conflicted. Want to tear your own eyes out? So let's, All right. Uh, let's go check out some stuff here. Yeah, at the loadout I currently have uh, was just something I was running through uh, duos and alerts with. Okay. And I just wanted to kind of show people what that would look like. Before we go into what the, what the actual now you're a are. hero right now. I am now a hero. Yes. So you'll notice that your tray is the yellow color, correct? Right. And right. that is because as a hero, all of your basic attacks right. and things like that tend to be uh, grounded toward the uh, the blessed side of things. Correct. 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 
And if you were a villain, you'd see a different color. Yeah, it's tray the, set. The, the kind of uh, dark purple, right? Um, that matches kind of the Eclipso color that, that, that we saw set. a second ago. And then your basic attacks would actually be darker. So right. that's the interesting thing about this. We did take kind of like a, a page from Hard Light, and we specified heroes and villains have a different sort of look to some of their powers and how they approach it. I thought that was really cool. I know there's some guys in here. We got oh yeah, they're there. All right. So let's just jump in here and beat up on some of these let's guys. Let's do it. Bit. So first, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and use um, Malediction. Okay. And then and then combo into Corrupted Benediction. Okay. Which is the the thing that'll give me the uh, heals based on damage. Okay. So now you're doing damage out because you have that on you. Right. And you're getting the heals popping back on. So, um... I also have, you know, just the regular stuff you'd, you'd probably want as a as a healer. Blessing, which is the, the shield here. Um, a little divine light. Some heal fields that will also purify the uh, enemies. So it's that gold aura that's around yeah. them. A little bit of their damage out will come back as healing. Okay. Um, there's admonish, which is a, a burst heal. We'll just, well, I'm already full. Cool. Uh, about to get killed. So let's try this again. At some point during the show, you will be opening up all the lockboxes that you get on our internal test server, as is tradition, and make um, all the people that are watching salivate and wish they had that drop rate. I I already have about 20 in my inventory. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> so they like seeing uh, them open. Yeah. So yes. So I also have uh, some of the mainframe mods, so when I used my um, shield wall go, it had regenerative shield. Uh oh, so. you're going to die. It's okay. You got it under control? Little little combo action. Nice. The effects look great. All right, so, so you're doing a lot of stuff right here. Yeah. You're going back and forth, and I yeah. think it's important that we actually go through and show people maybe the skill trees and exactly how these things map. Or am I getting ahead of myself No, here? no, we, we should do that. Okay. I just want to let them see it in action. Some effects before you they... Know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Throw some steak out have, there. <laughs> have we have we talked about that thing right there? What thing? The plasma core? Yeah. No? Yeah. You want to talk about well, it? Well, because it, it went on... S and it's in the it's booster in the bundle, bundle, right? Yeah, so you can go get it in the booster bundle um, if you're interested in the plasma core, along with a bunch of other stuff. Right, and previously it was only available in, in uh, EU. EU, so... Yeah. So now, now it's everybody. available in the U.S. Yeah. Although I had it a little early myself, i got to say. Man. Yeah. Somebody right. was rather cross with me on live about that. <laughs> <laughs> they right. demanded to see my papers. <laughs> oh. Papers, please? Papers. Who are you? All okay. right. So I might have a few skill points, too. Don't all right. Worry. Don't worry about that. All right. Um, so here is the blessed tree. Now, just so you guys can see something, this is the first time this has happened. The trees mimic each other. Exact in, in matches. Shape, right. Yeah. And that's on purpose. In fact, you could take them side by side and lay them over each other, and they would be identically Correct. positioned to each other. And so these, the ones that I have purchased right now in the Blessed Tree are all the ones that can combo into, um, cursed versions. Into the cursed, yeah. If you also own if you have the cursed well. version, so right. in order in order for that to work, you would need this power right here in yes. both trees in this position yes and you in could that bless position. and and you could cleanse and corrupt them going back and forth correct and get different results correct uh oh hold on uh oh we got we got some business bad, to take care of bad place to stand apparently uh yes maps that would be nice when the time comes oh ho he wants to, Epps wants to know if we want to group with him to go through it. Oh, yeah. yeah. That would that'd, be nice. That'd be cool. Now, I just missed the combo, and that, that's not, that's not good. Why? What happens? Because you, what you do is you waste time. Right. Right. Because you, it really, this is, it's about the time you put in more than the power you put in. Is that true? Uh, yeah. So the, the combos, right, after, when you land one, it's actually not doing, it's not costing you any power. Like light combos, okay. right? 
Um, but in this case, you have to put in more time to get to them. Um, so you can be interrupted, you can be juggled, you can correct. be... Correct. you got to time them right. Yeah, and you have to decide if it's a good idea to do it, which I right. didn't do. So no just rolling your face over the numbers right. in sequence on right. this one? I, think, I don't think anybody's going to spawn up here, right? All right, so we can go back in here. Okay. So, um, like we were saying... If you buy Smite, for instance, mm -hmm. here in this tree, and it says tap melee, you get Haunt, the cleansed mm -hmm. version, mm -hmm. right? Well, Haunt happens to be the same spot. same spot in the tree on the other side. Right. Uh, and the only thing you have to do to, to get that to happen is just tap melee after casting, either mm -hmm. Haunt or Smite. Then, uh, the tooltip down here at the bottom will tell you what the cleansed version of this ability does or on the other side what the corrupted version of that ability does. Which is essentially that version. It's the same same power, just with an extra bonus with on top extra of stuff. it. With extra right. stuff. Right. Exactly. Extra goodness. Um, so, for instance, Haunt and Smite, they're both single target uh, abilities, but the combo, right, is a multi-target gotcha. version of it. So it just uh, it hits a single target, and then it'll expand out if you've done the cleanse or corrupted version right. to the it, other people. Right, and then it gets a lot... It gets a lot better after that. So that's the that's the easiest. Combo. You mean that the first power that you unlock is not the best? <laughs> no. <laughs> well done, sir. Yes. You've not screwed this one up. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so then we get down here to these next ones, and you'll see it's like tap melee hold range, right? Mm -hmm. So what that means is, in, in fact, I have this on my on my bar, uh, blight, which is a, a PBAOE that also increases healing chance. Okay. Um, which goes into admonish, which was the like kind of cone attack from the from the other tree. Um, All right. Well, let's li which you don't have on your bar. Which no, I, actually, I'm running both. You're running both, so you can go because either we'll, direction right. with these. And powers. that that's important because if you do, they actually give you different things. So I wanted to run admonish because um, it, it was a uh, an instant heal. Okay. To to me and up to three people, but I wanted to also run blight because it gives me the heal uh, crit chance. Okay. Right. So, why um, don't we just look at those two versions you just explained, the haunt and okay. the other one, uh, or haunt uh, or admonish? Yeah, let's do let's do both. Let's do the haunt okay. to uh, I forget what it's called. Smite, now. smite, and yeah. an example you get too, and just show them. You don't even need a target. I don't think if you just want to show them, you know how it. Where are we here? Pretty here's icons. Haunt. Here's haunt, and here's I like the background on these very much. They yeah. have a, a really cool kind of curvy, arky lines, which is kind of found within some of the effects, I think, too. The swooping, mm -hmm. celestial kind of uh, silhouette that we get off there. Swooping, <laughs> celestial silhouette. It's Say very, that five times fast. Very magic-like, right? Don't type it five times fast. That doesn't count. Say it five times fast. Okay, so, so the first two in the bar, right? Now I have Haunt and Smite as number one and two. So, here's Haunt. Hey, there's Mess. Right? Yep. So that's um, haunt. That looks badass. Here's smite. We'll do that again with like face. Yeah. Cool. So then if I smite, then immediately so tap melee, I get a a cleansed version of haunt. Do do haunt again, so people can see the dark version with the skulls coming out. Now do the cleansed version, and you guys will see it actually is a different version of that effect you really get that feeling of cleansing it and this is really cool i think for people that were wondering you know well what does it mean for me if i'm a hero and right. i have this dark stuff you can kind of tap into the into the dark side so to speak but still be a hero character oh. yeah um the idea there was that um in order to cleanse something or to corrupt it you'd have to know how to do it to begin with right right uh, and that way you know how to make it better um so um now go the other way and, okay. Um, let's see what what I just did. Smite you did too. smite. So yeah. then we do this, we do this, and you get. It's in the middle of the. It's a bit harder to see. But there's a smite in there. Mm -hmm. That's that's been corrupted. Okay. Um, so then here is admonish. Okay. Real yep. fast. It's right. also an instant heal. And what's the um, do the other side then, of that? And then blight. Okay. Right. So those two mirror each other. One's a cone initially, and the other is a PBAE. Right. Okay. So then, oh, I missed it. Nice. Okay. Now, did you see though? Now I get a heal over time mm -hmm. from blight, which you wouldn't get. You didn't get that heal over time. Right. When you did it directly out of the tray. Now here's the here's the crazy part. Um, right. If you just tap melee, 
you you get that charge in. Mm -hmm. That's you're gathering all that mm -hmm. power, but nothing will happen. Okay. Unless you continue on. So with the you combo. can bail on it if you, you want can bail, to. Um, or you know if, if you miss it because you you press the wrong button. This is key thing here is that these are this is almost like learning another weapon. Mm -hmm. You right? got to know the combos when the windows are. Right. You got to know the windows. Win exactly. And it's an exact combo, right? Like that one's tap melee hold range. Mm -hmm. So if you don't if you don't get that. Then, then you'll end up doing like I did, where I, you miss it. But you get this, awesome. or, or, boom! That. You get the black, the, dark, cursed version of right. the, uh, of and the cone attack. So the corrupted version of that. Are you people getting this? Is this start? Is this making <laughs> sense to you guys out there? Is it? We losing them? No, no, no! I don't think we're lo losing people. Yeah, they get it. Here come the yeses. Yes, you do yeah, need cool. you do need both powers. Cool. In order to get the combo yeah, version. Yeah. All right, people get it. Cool. Let's keep going. Let's show them more of this stuff now that they grok the general concept of it. If anybody's okay. kind of joined in late or uh, is asking questions in there, and we're powering forward, help us out, chat, um, and uh, you know fill them in. But you get the general gist. Right. It is. It's a different kind of comboing than you get in light. In that light, you had a power, and you could go a multiple directions with it, depending on what it linked to. Could it right. be three other powers, and as long as you had them, right. you could go anywhere. Right. And this this is one is a one-to-one -one map back right. and forth. But in light, when you when you did the combo, you didn't get a better version of it. It might actually right. be worse. You just chained into slightly. it. Oh, right. yeah, right. Because it might true. not have all the um, the CC and stuff. So you get diminishing returns right. because it wasn't necessarily costing you. Right, but you could do it forever. Exactly. Right. Um, and this is different. Right. This actually takes a little time, and you get benefits from right. it. Right. And just so everybody knows, the the damage has obviously uh, been scaled to match the time you're putting in. Mm -hmm. Right. So, like a weapon. So, the if it's a longer combo like this down at the bottom of Divine Light, where you tap melee, tap range, then hold melee, you get huge numbers out of it when you hit. How do you? What kind of weapons do you think this is going to play better with? Range, melee. Do you see this so, as kind of like a get-in-your-face power, or? Well, so I, that's how I was playing it. Uh -huh. The other, because I was like, I want to, I want to see how it is. So I got the dual wield going, and we were running uh, the alert with it, and I switched after people start dying. Yeah. Because I, <laughs> I was paying too much attention to fighting, mm -hmm. and not enough attention to healing. But that was my own fault. I could have totally healed right through it. Right. So, and also I'm, I'm, I'm much more. So situational awareness. I'm I'm much more used to hand blast. Uh, I switched to that and we we weren't having any problems. But I also didn't take. Uh, I love hand blast now. I, I've always liked hand blast, especially after the CRC play test yesterday. So she's man, beast. She's, she's so good. Okay. Anyway. Um. I sorry. Switched, teaser. I switched to. Mm -hmm. uh, I could have switched to Guardian's Light, which is a, a big heal, and that would help as well. Okay. Um. So okay, so we're. So do you want to go? Actually, do you want to give these people a treat and go into the uh, the mystery maze and the tunnel of, of lust and actually show some of the stuff? We can have Meps join and um, oh yeah, go in there. He's saying uh, we should turn turn, we should turn stuff. Skype on. We All might right. we might need to talk to Meps. Yeah, let's go. Let's. I think the the phone in the Meps cave has been fixed. Meps, call me. Call me, buddy. We need to hear your voice. See if he's gonna gonna play along here. Also, let me see if I have uh, some of the questions that I I said I would uh, answer some questions. Um, the second power in the combo does not cost any power. The second combo. All right. Mepsi, call me. Here, I'll call him. There it is. Hello, hello. Hey, how's it going? Can you read me? This is this is Maps from the Maps Cave. What's okay, up, Maps? You, you love it, saying. Is that. this picture right here? Is that is I that really live? Do. What? Is he is he just that stoic? No. I'm showing your picture to everyone. Please don't. Why not? You don't. It's want, embarrassing. I, well, I showed one of you like, you know. I saw the one last on Friday Night Lights. Last night. Yeah, look at that. Friday, oh. The, the Friday people want to see the power. Let's. I know. Let's show I know. Them people what you they have want. the power. You are the power, sir. Here we go. You have the power. You're like Castle Grayskull. Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. There's Meps. There he is. He's, he's Robot Meps, yeah. right? Yeah. He has the most uninspired outfit. 
I, I heard you talking really about it last me. week. I know he, it's he doesn't not. need pants. I know he has no pants. He's like Solomon Grundy. All right, so why don't you guys go walk in, group up, and you guys can go into the uh, duo together. I'm going to answer a couple of questions here while you guys do that. All right, walk in should be over there somewhere. But you guys, oh, you guys are grouped good. Yeah. Wait, Maps, this why is... are you playing a healer when we're demonstrating a healing power? Because Maps is a healer. Well, then go into DPS yeah. role. Okay. What what are you I can, again? I can switch. Are you like nature? Or are you? I'm sorcery. All right, you want to go into default? I can give myself a switch. I can I can switch. All right, all right. We're gonna go into. Oh God, maps. All right, we're gonna go into deeps. Now maps went into deeps. Okay, good. He's back. Yeah. Okay. Finally got it together here. All right. I think we're good. We're good now. Go ahead in. All right. So OG Elite asks, when will y'all be redoing loot drops? Mm -hmm. um, we're do working on those right now. We're going to be redoing the loot drops so that every if, if people aren't aware of this, uh, we're going to be going through and make it so that everybody when you kill a boss is or you KO a boss is actually going to be getting uh, their own loot. Yep. It'll still be random in terms of what comes up, but it will be yours. You don't have to roll on it, which is great. And we'll be redoing that for DLC 8 and DLC 7 before DLC 8 comes out. So you'll be seeing DLC 7 content and DLC 8 content when Sons of Trigon comes out. Uh, that'll have the new loot stuff. I'll get to more of your questions later. I was, Thank uh, you for the question. I was helping Crafty Crafter test that this morning. It's David on the forums. Yeah. Man. All right, so we're going to see some celestial deeps in action here. See how it fares against staff. So what you've got a buff on? That was a debuff on the uh, Greater Lust Demon, coming. right? Uh, this right here. Yeah. It, that is. Uh, well, that little thing you had at his feet before, or her feet. Oh, okay. So that those right there. Yeah. If, if they walk over there, those when I'm in DPS roll. Yeah. They just take a chunk of damage okay. and then get purified. Nice. Uh, if I actually the, is that the purify right there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So some of their attacks will heal. Now, if I had um, plague, I could have done the the big combo, right? Uh huh. Because this is at the bottom of the tree. Nice. Yeah. That was big. Yes. Oof. Very cool. And you're healing Meps. I noticed at the same time, even yeah, though Meps is supposed to be the healer and doing the healing. Well, he's also got his Man, little that, watcher. That trash mob almost took me out. Almost yeah. Worried. That's no <laughs> surprise to either of Sport and myself. See how it is. Yeah. <laughs> which, which way you want to try? Uh, I don't know. It's a maze, man. You gotta. It's. I don't know about you, but I can't it's see anything with the light. If the light, light is maze. killing me right now. Yeah. But it's okay. Now uh, I'm doing the corrupted benediction, so some of my damage out is is uh, gonna come back as healing, but it's greatly reduced in DPS roll. Yeah, somebody said the their ice tank does more damage, but your ice tank doesn't heal you back for the damage that you do. Yes. So nice try on the argument, but I think it it's different, not necessarily better. Nice. Now oh. you're going back and forth to some corrupted versions here. I'm noticing you yes. definitely are doing a bunch of the comboing. It's free. Why not? I really like the effects and how the effects turned out. Yeah, it looks uh, like there's like three primary elements to it. Yep. On each side, you've got your rays, your kind of god ray kind of particles coming out, then you've oh, got could, your might have some more big swirly pillars that come up, and then the um, uh, kind of almost like plasma-like energy that comes out of things as well. That's on the celestial or the blessed side of things. We can get a. I can put this this uh, pool in here. Get a big skull going. Nice. Where'd Mips go? I don't know. You can't. Don't count on him if you need help. There he is. I saw a sorcery heal coming up. Last time we did this, Mips went into a corner and stared at a rock for about <laughs> 30 seconds. It was a really cool rock. Yeah. <laughs> I think we might have found a dead end. Yeah, I, I don't know. I can't actually. I'm blind. We should. I would wish turn we could turn light. up. Are you, are you sure? Can people yeah, see not? us? All right, you can't see on. the screen. Okay. All right, because I'm totally lost right now. 
But that's the point of this, right? It's a oh, found somebody. Oh, that's a lot better. So this um, this healing I'm getting from based on damage out uh, is from my weapon attacks or my celestial combos, or right. from my watcher. <laughs> Whatever, dude. You trying to take credit for stuff? The Watcher's healing as well. You're right. All right, let me queue up some more questions here. Boom. So, uh, one of, most of these combos, the uh, base ability stays pretty much the same. Um, we added stuff onto it, but uh, Consume Soul, which is this pull with the skull, turns into... Um, an AOE pool right here. Cool. Right, And then that heals uh, people near you in heal roll. Oh, here's some more people. Oop, missed the combo. Here we go. Nice. God, it just looks so cool. And I love the idea of just being able to kind of get in there and mix it up as a healer. Not that some healers don't do that. Don't get me I've wrong. Seen some. I just like. I mean, this is just really designed to be a little more in your face and aggressive. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think uh, it will it will definitely suit some people's play style. I just missed another combo. Especially guys that mostly like to play DPS. You know, if you want to get in there and have your damage matter, it, this is a way to do it in a in a support role. Yeah. Not that your damage doesn't matter. I'm just, boy, I'm getting. I'm gonna get myself in trouble somehow. I don't mean those things the way you might take them. They're innocent comments. I think we turned back around maps, or I did. The maze is effective. It is. Maybe you guys should split up and try different routes together. That never goes wrong in the, horror. I was movies. gonna say, wait a minute. But that maps doesn't know anything about movies, so you could probably pull that over on him. Wait, wait. I think there's some stairs around here. <laughs> I think I did this during... For real, there's some right here. During a stream or something. Yes. Or a press interview with these. I was like, where is it? You with me, Maps? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. All right. Um, go to this. Boom, 700. What's your favorite power in here? Wow. Um, that's tough. Do you like long walks on the beach? No. <laughs> we went over that at SW Live. <laughs> yeah, we did, I, actually. Uh, I hate the beach. Um, <laughs> so much I hate sand. Sands. This is the Anakin Skywalker here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I really like Admonish um, be because it, it's really fast. It heals up to three people, you know. It's it's near the top of the blessed tree. It's just mm. easy to get to. But it also combos really well with the other, with the other side, which is blight. Dude, they totally jumped you. Where? Oh, I see. So this is the haunted maze. It's like kind of like, you know, a haunted mansion kind of thing that you might see at an amusement park or a, re a resort. And. Uh, I think it turned out really cool. Reminds me of like rides like Tower of Terror or you know the Haunted House or something like that at Disney in terms of having this kind of cool, creepy, old mansion feel. And then it turns into what was the Tunnel of Love mm -hmm. is now the Tunnel of Lust because Jacob has taken it over and Jacob is one of Trigon's sons who is the embodiment of Lust. And we'll probably get to the entrance of the tunnel. And then maybe we should go to a different a different yeah. duo, and you can show off a little bit more of the powers. Yeah, I should probably switch up my loadout. We'll do that. Why don't we do that when we go we to the next one? Switch, yeah, because yeah. I'll need to buy new stuff. Um, I can answer some questions while that's going on. These lesser lust demons will jump you. You realize how that sounded, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. 
What's Maps doing? Look at him. Uh, see, he's staring at a wall again. Look at him. I'm, I was actually I was texting somebody. Oh. Trying to trying to work out a surprise for later, but oh boy, not working out. So. Uh, oh, well, I think I'm that's back. probably good for oh, me. Hey, hey there's hey. Jacob. Oh. Where'd he go? He took off. And he started a fire. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think that might have been our first glimpse of a son of Trigon, man. Yeah. I don't think we've shown one. Show up to, no, I don't think so. Is it? I thought. Okay. That was one of them. That was Jacob. All right, where are you going? Uh, I'm lost again. You're lost again. Yeah. Well, these Is that the way you came in? I'm not there, sure. There are guys over here. Oh, you got you got yeah. some guys. Follow Maps. Maps. Maps and a pro. He knows where he's going. We are in trouble. <laughs> okay. I like how Maps is like. There's guys over here. We come around the corner. What's he doing? Staring at a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have some kind of scrying ability as your sorcery character that requires you to stare at a corner or some flat surface? Yes. <laughs> you don't know about that? No, I'm trying to help you out of this through role playing. <laughs> so these are the corrupted versions. Much harder, a little harder to see in this environment. It's a little harder. Of course, to see when you're them. out in Metropolis, they yeah, they pop like crazy. They're quite bright there. So these are kind of almost a little stealthy. If you're a PvP ganker in the open world, you can hang out in Gotham and yeah. hit people with your curse stuff, and they'd be like, "Where'd that come from?" <laughs> uh, they'll see it on the main map. <laughs> hey, Jinx. Uh oh. And we have the VO turned down. Say she's saying stuff. Yeah. I should have turned up. Let me turn up the VO really quickly. We can do, deal with a little VO. Maps hates the VO. Keeps having the VO up. Keep me alive, Maps. I'm Just distracting her. Okay. Okay, go. I like this is one of the fearsome five. Oh, no. Now, so that's a little... That's interesting, because if they move... It's good if you're... That, that's a great power if your tank is taunting and keeping everybody on top of that stuff, right? Which... The, oh, the, uh, the little AE that gets put down when you use it. Yeah, on. well, the good thing about those um, is that instead of doing damage over time, they, they're they just all up front, right? Uh, but then anybody else that walks over them is going to get hit all up front as well. So it's they're really good for... Ooh, PvP is probably really good. It's really good um, for... Nodes. Ads, right? Oh, good just for when ads. There's, okay. when, there's a lot of, when there's a lot of guys around, it's, a, it's less effective with a single target. Jinx doing her thing. Now, you randomly get a different enemy here each time. Mm -hmm. Could be a bunch of different guys. Not just always going to be Jinx. Could be one of the other Fearsome Five popping up here. Might be Mammoth. Just totally depends. Gonna give me a sidekick here. Give me some power. You've got a uh, barrel over there, too, if you need it. I like my sidekick to see some action. He, you know. Get her! Oh, look at Maps with the counter! Get her. He's just swinging that staff. Boom. Nice. Lockbox. Lockbox. <laughs> <laughs> There's Jacob. Uh oh. Look at this glowing. We took these guys pretty much right out of the comics. Yeah. So that's what he looks like in the comics. A lot of people were speculating on what we would actually do with the sons. And, um... Dude, Meps just knocked him out! Or tried to. <laughs> Don't mess with me. Sheesh. What do you, All right. What do you say we jump to uh, another? You want to go to a different one? I can I kinda, show, I I want can show you him some different abilities. Okay, that's that good. We can do that. I got a few things. Do we have any? No. All right, yeah, jump to some different abilities. Let's stay in this duo, though. Okay. Because I, I kind of want them to see the other part of it. All right, let me answer another question that some of you tweeted out to me earlier while Jesse is getting ready. So, the boy one. The boy one. There's two eyes, so it's what? probably the boy. There's okay. a little extra phonetics there. Will legendary members get early access? 
two sons of Trigon. I added the last part. Uh, when when we we have some news about that coming up after the show, actually, which I'll clarify. Um, we will. We have an announcement to make, so stay tuned to the end. But yes, yeah, so our we always try and get that out there onto the live servers a little early, so that our member and give our uh, legendary members some time with it. So um, you know, barring any unforeseen circumstances, uh, yes, we fully intend on having uh, time for you guys up front. Uh, Arkham inmate J H. Will there be new base drops? If so, can you name some off? Yes, there will be new base drops. There's a quite a few new base drops, actually. Um, they range from all kinds of things. We have an astron astronomy armillary sphere, which is one of my favorites. We have a sarcophagus altar. There's a, a, a foo dog that you can get, like one of those ch uh, Chinese foo dogs. So it's a short foo dog wall scroll. Um, let's see. Uh, there are tons of things here paneled honeycomb R. We have wooden trellises, single police lockers. Um, there's a large, huge cage, which you see out in the normal con in the normal uh, open world Gotham Wastelands content. We have um, lots of different kinds of furniture. Uh, there's a hooded hooded skeleton, an adorned hooded skeleton portrait, which is pretty cool. That sounds good. So yeah, kind of some creepy stuff and some standard stuff that you guys will be interested in getting as well. So yes, there are, there are more than I can list right now going into going in with the DLC. So a lot of stuff. How you doing? You almost ready? Yeah, I'm just putting some different... This might not be the best loadout necessarily, but it's got different stuff that I haven't shown yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this one. People want to know if there's toilets and kitchen <laughs> items. I can, Jesse Locke will be excited that people asked about a toilet because his theory is that no matter if you have housing in every game, there people want a toilet. Someone at SOEA Live asked if there were yeah, toilets. Yes, I bet. So, are you sure they weren't asking you where the toilet was in <laughs> Planet Hollywood? Yeah, uh, you might have caused an accident. I, I told him about Tunso's. Um, like kind of internal house that he just filled with toilets. <laughs> Are you serious? So yeah, it was our first test house. Nice. Right, base. Um, so th th this ability right here, Dark Pact. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna try this one out. Um, this one makes all, all my might based damage abilities. So everything off the tray, uh, deal 20% more, but cost 30% more. People ask about might and precision with his power. You want to give a lowdown on what your thoughts are there? Um, it's it's definitely more precision based because of all the combo, mm -hmm. right? With the celestial combos, but um, try to throw in some stuff like like uh, like dark pact here. That'll mm -hmm. if you wanted to make just a might based lowdown, you have you, the options. You could you could do so, and okay. you know, um, really put it to your controller a little bit. Okay. To help you out. <laughs> oh, for some power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, got a supercharge up here. It's the 25% supercharge uh, cursed idol. It'll be pretty good. You ready, Maps? Maps is yep. always ready. Look at him. Yep. Born ready. Look, he's ready, Tebowing. Yeah. Yep. Tebow. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this first ability here is def. Uh, Do I have to pay Tebow now defile. for mentioning that? Oh. Didn't he trademark that? I think wow. I owe Tebow money. Let's. Let's just double dot these dudes up. Cursed idol in the middle of Mep's circle here. Yeah, I'm trying not to use powers as much as possible so I don't distract. But that's all right. You just uh, you, we're probably good. Well, you should emergency heal. Let's see if I can. I like this effect. I like how the skull turns around and looks at different different directions and everything like that. You see the. The totem there had a skull on top. So I, I just use curse on here. Somebody guy. asked if the cursed idol is like the idol in Brady Bunch, the movie. Um, do you I not know that? that I don't know. You that do one. know that, Maps? No, I don't. I don't yeah. know that. One. Seriously, Greg Brady gets a cursed idol and he enters a surfing competition. And he almost gets killed in the the violent surf of let me, let me Hawaii. Let stop you right there. It's not like that. What? It's not like that? You, but you don't want to hear the rest of the story well, anyway? I, I was just it doesn't have anything to do with surfing or Fine. Right? <laughs> Fine. You got me there. You just took out what's all in there? From the sale. What is That's in a there? bonus boss fight area. What is that? Creepy. Um So that's where uh that's where the other son of Trigon is. And we won't tell you who it is. 
right now. So these uh, you're going the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, Boy, the, this maze is effective oh, on here you. Is. Wow. Just follow, follow, like maps. I said, follow Meps. Meps knows right where he's going. Okay. <laughs> Let's get this totem up here I think again. that was an insult. What? No, I was being totally sincere. All right, Meps, I'm gonna I'm gonna target one of these guys and curse him, and we should take right. that guy out first. It's the guy you're okay, attacking. Let's see how this so, goes. So. Oh when, no! When the guy's KO'd, he'll give a. Uh, He'll explode, right? And give you what? Um, or does he just explode? Well, one of them... You got me now. One of them uh, gives you heals, and one of them explodes and deals damage. Yeah, it's a heal over time. Okay. I, I saw a lot of heals there. I wasn't sure if it was maps. Um, death mark will, will do the... Uh, you mark them for death, and when they explode, they deal damage to mm -hmm. a guys around them. Mm -hmm. Plague... You you infect them with a disease, right? Mm -hmm. And whenever they get KO'd, that same disease spreads to eight more people around mm -hmm. them. So sounds evil. Yeah. So I have all those on my on my bar now. All right. Oh, we should we should look at this. Yes. All right. Here we go into the actual. This is where the maze enters or meets the tunnel. And these are like sort of like the access areas behind. Uh, there oh. you go. You want to go over there? Yeah. These are the access areas behind the. Um, there's Jacob. Oh, Isn't Cheetah! Cheetah. Himself, I'm going to Hello. Out your eyes. <laughs> oh, Cheetah. Why follow Cersei when you can follow someone as gorgeous as me? Oh, wow. He's, he's cocky. Trying to come between us. A little narcissism going on there. A little bit. As you wish, Jacob. Oh, man. Ow. <laughs> Don't mess with Cheetah. Interrupting, huh? Yeah, a little She's bit. A tough one. She's way OP. <laughs> She's, She's falling awesome. over too, though. But she is making it a little difficult for you to do the combo. It looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this loadout. Uh, not the, not the best. Not the for, best for Cheetah. For this, but that's okay. I'll use some other stuff. Won't go for the combo as much then. So that's. Yeah, you just always just do the raw, the raw powers. Now the it's interesting too because so there aren't any power interactions with other powers really when you're playing celestial. Right. It is designed to power interact off itself through the power combos, cleansing and corrupting. Correct. Correct. All right, you guys almost got her. Meps, you're so being carried by by Spord playing celestial H. Which I assume is hero. Hero, yes. yeah. Meps, don't waste the barrel. Why fight outside the aura when you can fight inside the aura? There you go. I'm at full health. Also Still full power, power, man. Well, then you're doing something wrong. I'm not healing. Oh, all right. On purpose. Okay. You're right. I did tell you that. Gosh, I'm so mean to you. <laughs> <laughs> Got my staff going though. Yeah, the whirlwind of pain. No, oh, no. That's okay. What's this big superpower you're saving up? Or you've been using it? You were actually using it. The uh, supercharge. So cooldown, yeah. Yeah, it's the cursed idol. So it's what where I'm getting. Oh, yeah. the, it's Duh. where I'm getting the hills right now. Yep. She's getting the dots. And Boom. Boom. See now you see can see the tunnel. Come off of I it? did. What is this? Yeah. All right. Oh, we gotta carry this. Yep. Ah. All right. Whoa. So now you destroyed the barrier, and you're in almost into the tunnel. 
Just around the corner. Boom. All right, while you guys are fighting, Hit I'm going to answer another question. How many feats are there to get for the Sons of Trigon DLC? It was asked by Tenchi Rob 7 Tenchi Rob. You seen Tenchi the anime? Uh, no. There's like five different versions of it. It's like one of those where they're like, hey, we're going to do a Tenchi 2, and then they just retell the whole story with like different characters. and they The same characters, but... They all have different... They switch places in terms of their motive. It's... Anyway. <laughs> Tenchi Rob, number seven, asks, how many feats are, there, are we going to get in Sons of Trigon DLC? And uh, there will be a total of 35 feats. However, four of those are hero slash villain specific. So each character will be e eligible for 31 new feats. It's going to come out uh, to about... What did he just say here? No, he didn't mean it like that. All right, I'm going to forego this last sentence. Yeah, that... <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> That's a typo. It doesn't sound I'm not right. even going to say it. All right, so uh, character will be eligible for 31 new feats on each side, hero villain. Oh. But there's a total of 35. Just four will be reserved on each side. All right, now here's the tunnel of lust. And all of this energy here, this this uh, this sin energy, the the purple stuff you see on the ground there is what they're harvesting on the outside this is what Jacob's like power you can go over here too they got some really cool faces like over in that area you can see coming down kind of oh, filling the yeah. river and harvesting it a little bit and this beautiful environment even looking at the ceiling what they've got going on up in there with the way everything kind of pulsates and it looks like the water that the energy is sort of reflecting on the top so this is a other, another whole part and at the end of this you end up uh, running into Jacob himself and He's the boss, the final boss of this of this duo here. Okay. So Look at maps. that was just one of the three duos. You saw the first part with the haunted maze, and obviously it'll go further than this. Um, I have uh, a couple other questions to answer. Did, is there anything else you wanted to go over on Celestial? Um, There's a few powers we didn't All right. we didn't show that. Okay. We can yeah let's I'll have do to that reset. all right i'll answer um, some questions while you're resetting you let me know when you're when you're ready i'll be in the swan boat okay, okay. yeah you just never get out of the boat <laughs> no do you know that one or is it he's never get out of the boat bleep bleep bleeping right you got me anyone in chat please what's he what's he talking about Oh, come on, people. I've heard on a boat. Come Does on, people. Butt Scratcher. No, that's not the movie. The movie is not Butt Scratcher, Butt game. Scratcher. Right, right. Does anyone know what that's from? Yes, thank you, Pixel Sekmit. Apocalypse Now. Apocalypse Now. I haven't seen that. What? Kids today. You know. No, I don't know. I can't imagine. I can't. Po I don't know how you could not have seen that film after all these years. Apocalypse Now. Actually, we can go. And it's not Jaws. Who said no, Jaws? Oh, I'm we're gonna, gonna mute need a bigger swan person. boat. Jaws 15. Why? What? Why are you gonna need a bigger swan boat? Just in case. Oh, in case what? It's Jaws. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> um. So. All right. I just went and jumped in the boat. What was the inspiration for doing Celestial Powers, asks, asks Dakota Lee Baird. Um, yeah, do you want to well, talk about that? No, you start off with where, because it, it started with you. Right. So, I just I wanted to do something that uh, seemed, my whole concept for the Sons of Trigon, if you look at the outside, there's this moon and these stars that each represent uh, one of the suns, and of course Raven uh, and her split soul, and I really wanted to get this feeling of this kind of crazy space with this very cosmic, uh, interdimensional kind of feel to it, and Celestial seemed really perfect for that, given the theme that I wanted and kind of that just celestial look but also uh you know the connection to the uh, demonic powers with trigon um you know and and we really thought about who these powers could be based off of and we started looking at characters like zariel and and people like that that were more of like the sort of jla level you know that he's an angel um but we wanted to tilt it more toward the presence 
right? That kind of the divinity that's in DC that isn't necessarily based on, you know, any kind of denomination, right? So we kind of broadened it out a little bit to these sort of like celestial powers. We looked at people like Eclipso and uh, Spectre to kind of guide us there in terms of what those looks should be, what the colors should be, and that kind of idea of, you know, the presence made manifest through a vessel. Um, and that's where these powers kind of spawned up from. So we went through a lot of iterations on them. Yes. And uh, definitely we're working on trying to make them feel very distinct and very geared toward hero-villain on both sides right up until the end when we were uh, getting ready to cap this thing off. So I just I just cast Consecrated Ground. Wow, that's a really huge... It's a supercharged... Effect. Um, anyone that's inside of, of the uh, area of effect there mm -hmm. takes 75% less damage. It's basically a big bubble shield that is on the ground. Does not go away. So blue and white guy says noise to that sport. And then I just it. I just cast sacrifice. Would that be a Smurf? Blue and white guy, are you simply why don't you call yourself Smurf? <laughs> you may need to take a look at capsule size on the watcher. Why? <laughs> when I shielded it just then. Wait, do it again. It was quite large. Uh Oh yeah, what's up with that? Yeah, that's quite large. Um, so this was the sacrifice uh, supercharge. So it shields everybody, all allies that are near you, mm -hmm. gives them a heal over time, uh, taunts enemies, and if you die while you were taunting, mm -hmm. then it gives another heal over time nice. out to everybody. Nice. <laughs> yeah. It's Do uh, it again. Do it again. I think it also makes gives maps an inferiority complex. I know my watcher has a much bigger. <laughs> so I love this power. It's a good power. Um, the second one here is it, where you get the another one of the beams from the sky and you mm -hmm. yell out. That's anoint. Mm -hmm. uh, gives a precision and um, do restoration. It, do it one more time. And the uh, shield on maps is watcher is not. It's not cool. Not up. Um, this this here's uh, guardian's light. For three seconds, you will you will channel the powers from the heavens and, and give out healing to everybody with a large heal at the at the end of it. Cool. And it also, it's constantly pushing people away from you while you're doing it. Hey, somebody wants to know GT Money Man two one two GT Money Man two one two. What's up? All right. Uh, will celestial powers healing really be based on damage? We kind of answered that, but why don't you be specific about exactly Okay, that? so um, specific powers, mm -hmm. right? Um, particularly corrupted benediction. Um, so, here's benediction. If you if you get the corrupted version from coming through malediction, right, mm -hmm. then, then that one is based on it. Uh, also, malediction is um, right there. You, you hit people with a bolt of energy. Right. It's ticking a dot on them, and each each tick you get some amount of the healing back to you. Um, and then of course there's a if I can get to it, there's a cleanse version of that, right? And the healing can go up to three people, so you might want to have both of them on your bar. Mm. You know, it's, it's a choice. If these are the tough choices a celestial player must make, there's actually there's actually one more. There's a supercharged life drain. Mm. Um, the damage out portion of that is, is comes back as healing. healing as well. All right. Uh, Soar, DCUO. Oh. Soar. Yeah. You know Soar. Does Celestial Combos give burst heals damage or dot slash hots? How many ticks are the dot slash hots? Ooh, he started burning you up for this. They are thing. actually smaller dots and hots than, say, nature. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of the ticks are higher. Uh, there's more. So they're there's, shorter? It's, yeah, it's but shorter. But higher ticks. Right. Um, there's... Like admonish, renew here, uh, divine light—they're all um, burst. Mm -hmm. Stuff like guardian's light is a uh, overtime stuff from the curse tree. Um, when you get the corrupted or the cleansed version of uh, consumed soul, that's a hot, but it's only for like five seconds. Okay. You know, so it's it's in between, really. And finally, this is my last question from the Twitter folks. So if you want your questions answered, sometimes on. Uh, FNL, follow me at, at @spittle and tweet me your questions, and I'll try and answer some of them on the air. Um, will there be a conflict when having two celestial healers in the same raid? Meaning, can their heals overwrite? 
Uh, yeah, that's actually we have that a tech limitation really between all powers. Right, fire uh, included. Yeah. So, uh, and we said it as we live. We we want to address that at some point, but currently, yes, if you have a hot from one of the powers here, right. it it's only going to take one of them. Now it's and again, it's not a design choice of ours to do that. We do have a technical limitation that we would like to see change. Yep. Um, so yeah. look for more news on that in the future. So any last other things, any last minute things you um, want to add here on this as we're coming toward our time? I, I think we at least kind of cast everything. Okay. Maps, was um, there anything that came up in the chat you noticed that you want us to cover? I've been using my staff and stuff. so I Oh, gosh. Really you're that. telling me that really? output just... for your staff work was full concentration? Because I Pretty assumed much. you had half well, of your Well, when I would look away, I would end up in a corner not... And being get, and get mocked by me, know. so I yeah. sort of... Okay. Pretty much your fault there. We do have an <laughs> announcement, though. I do have an announcement. I do have an announcement. Let's talk about that. So uh, right now, at the end of this cast, you will find um, you will find PC test open, and we are going to have. Is it all of Sons of Trigon on there, by the way? All of Sons yes. of Trigon is on PC. Exactly. Test. Not just Celestial. It's everything. Celestial. So you will be able to go on to PC test right now if you are a legendary um, PC player. Jump on there. And uh, let us know and uh, what you think of Sons of Trigon. You can probably get through this duo a little faster than poor lost Jesse and Meps could. Uh, and check out the boss fight at the end. Um, you'll be able to go in there and check out Gotham Wastelands in each of the areas that you can see. And I look forward to seeing the first Trigon alert video that pops up oh, yeah. or picture oh. that pops up. He's huge, right? People, I don't think He's people huge. realize how big we made him. Would he, would he give that three hours? Maybe. Maybe even sooner. Yeah. We'll see. Um, we'll see. I saw somebody asked in the chat if the shield is for multiple people. It's for you and one other person. Uh, the reason for that is in the... If you get in there with Deathmark, right? And you get the corrupted mm -hmm. version of the shields, the shields actually will deal damage when they deplete. It sounds like a fun power. It's pretty awesome. It's a good it's, job. It's a lot of fun to play. I uh, I think you and the team did a great great job on it. It looks fantastic. It's a new way to play, so it's bringing something new to the table, especially for healers. So, very well done, man. Thank I you. I think you did awesome work, and I Thank hope you. everybody enjoyed um, you know your demo of the power that you've been working on for a while, and see how awesome it is and all the potential. You can get on PC test right now and try it yourself, and check out some of the content coming your way in Sons of Trigon. So um, until next time, thanks. I'm Spittle. This is Spored, Meps, of course, in the Meps cave on the uh, Meps phone. And we will see you, I guess it's Friday, right, Meps? Yeah, join us Friday. We will be live from PC Test playing the new Legends characters. Yeah, I'm going to kick with some butt with Cheetah. I want to play against the devs. Join come, us on PC Test this Friday. Come play me as Cheetah or as Donna. I'm better as Cheetah, I think. I'm, I'm better with Donna. You're better with Donna? Dude, we, let's team up. Okay. Let's do, we'll do a, we'll do a duo, two, two man. And we'll take on all comers. We can do that. All right, it works for me. Okay, thanks, everyone. Uh, see you later. Sony.